Hey, Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. Uh, Gary here with yet another video. I know the casual guy's not resting at all, but I got something special, I think. At least I think it's special. It's always special to me when I find them. And we got a Savage New Year's Eve haul. Some gems I picked up from uh, my LCS today. And, oh, there, there we go. Let's give it a little more space. Yes, very professional. I know. Okay, so to start out, I bought... And I got this for $5, which is always a steal to me. This book is criminally underrated. Um, and this is Red Sonia number one. Whenever I see it out in the wild, I'm most likely going to purchase it. It's one of my all-time favorite covers. Some really Frank Thorne goodness there. You can't go wrong. Absolutely beautiful book. Like I said, and I own this. I own this here. So this is my second raw copy. All right. And I also have it in a 9.4. Mm -hmm. And obviously it's a book I love. A very book that's always mm -hmm. going to be with me. I just absolutely adore it. Love the story. I love uh, the Frank Thorn art. And to go along with that, I picked up a Marvel feature with uh, Red Sonia. And this is a really minty copy, although it's got four little uh, color breaking spine ticks. It's probably the best copy I've seen in a while yet. It's a hard book to find in great shape. This one I'll probably send away to CGC. I do have it one, two, three other times. Again, Frank Thorne goodness. And this Marvel feature number one was Red Sonja's first solo series. Uh, it was it lasted seven issues, just a really great series. Obviously, this is a huge book for me as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to add a fourth copy to the pile. This one will get graded. All right, and then, nice pickup. And I already have this one as well. This is King Size Annual Number 3. This one's in great shape. Mm -hmm. And anytime I see Conan and Cole on the cover together, it's going to be a buy for me. I'll buy this book over and over and over again. It matters not. I love it that much. Two of Robert E. Howard's greatest creations. It could have only made it better if you somehow fit Solomon Kane on there. Absolutely great book. And uh, King Size Annual, you can't go wrong. This cover is just mint. I love it. Again, John Buscema and Ernie Chan. All right. And now for something special. So the story we're going to talk about here, in this iteration, it was published in 1976. And that was Conan the Barbarian, The Crawler in the Mist, and this is special, all right? This was a, a book in record, and I'll show you what I mean. And we're probably going to break out the record player from the basement tomorrow and give this a listen. The boy's all excited about it, so am I. So inside... You see all the other tower, all the other power records mm -hmm. adaptations they had. I happen to have this one. They did a couple other Conans, I believe, which I don't have yet. Or I know they did at least one other one, I believe. But really crispy, clean art. As you can see, this thing's in great shape. And I've seen these going for as high as $100 on eBay. What I paid for this was incredible. I paid $20 for this. Just absolutely fantastic you see the the inside's great but here's the fun right there's the record and oh i know they did another i know they did another conan one i can't remember what the story was so you had your your a side and you had your b side to the story and I don't know how this sounds. I can't wait to actually play it. It says the action comes alive as you read, book and record. But I couldn't resist it. It was in the shop in Rhinos for 20 bucks. And uh, I think it's selling for a lot more in other places. And this is a minty clean copy. And uh, I had to have it. So now the cool thing about this is. Uh, this wasn't just uh, a one-off. The record was, right, with this story. But if you just wanted to read this story, The Crawler in the Mist, we can save you some money. And all you have to do is pick up Conan the Barbarian, issue 116, which came out in 1980, four years after that record came out with the comic. 
and it's the same story, the crawler in the mist. Okay, so if you can't afford the book and record, and get if you don't find a good deal like I did, all you need is Coney and 116, and you can still read the great story. But just excellent stuff. And that was it. That was my Savage Hall for New Year's Eve, guys. Uh, promise I won't bother you anymore today. Everybody keep it casual. Happy New Year's. Take care of yourselves.